In this video, let us see about the RCBO which is also called as a residual current breaker with overload. And we will see the difference between an MCB and RCCB. What is the function of MCB? It is mainly used to provide the overcurrent protection. The main drawback is that it is unable to detect even the small leakage current. So in such cases we have to find another device which can detect the small earth leakage current. So normally that function is performed by RCCB which can detect the earth leakage current and protect us from electrical shock. But the disadvantage of RCCB is that it is not able to provide overcurrent protection. Why do we need this RCBO? So RCBO is a device which can provide overcurrent protection. It protects against the earth leakage fault as well as it protects the human being from electrical shock. So how to get this RCBO function? Normally what is done is you first an MCB will be used which will be connected in series with the RCCB. So this combination can give you both overload protection as well as uh, can detect the earth leakage fault. Only thing is that we have to ensure that the current ratings of both the devices should match. The devices which are used to detect the residual current are called RCD devices. So depending upon the type of construction, RCDs are classified as RCD blocks which has a provision for connecting the MCB. Here you can see it is a RCCB with uh, uh, some extension part. So here you can connect a MCB. So depending upon the current rating, you can choose a particular uh, compatible uh, MCB and you can use it as a single block. So that will be provided by RCD blocks. Next we have RCCB. This also comes under residual current device. So it is used to detect the earth leakage fault uh, and protect us from electrical shock. So this video is already uploaded. Uh, Next we have RCBO which has both um, earth fault leakage protection as well as overcurrent protection. So we are going to see about this RCBO in this video. An RCD block if we see when you insert an MCB it will be like this. So an RCD plus MCB block combined together will give you the RCBO function. So you, you have to match or you have to find a compatible MCB for this particular RCD block. RCD devices are available either as double pole, triple pole or as four pole is also available depending upon that you choose your MCB and connect it. Here we can see a single unit which works as a RCBO. Earlier we saw that a RCD block has the provision to connect the MCB separately. That is you can you have to choose the MCB and connect it in the RCD block. Here this is available as a ready made kit. If you see the symbol this type of symbol will be given which shows that this is a MCB and this is a RCCB. So both are interlinked together in a single unit. Like um, RCCB, there are different types of RCBO. The normal AC type will detect only residual AC current if the current is of AC or sinusoidal waveform is there, this will detect. But when you have a pulsating DC current or nonlinear loads, you have to go for type A RCBO. For type B, 
it will detect both um, residual AC current, pulsating DC current and smooth DC current. And uh, type F is normally preferred for uh, single phase inverter fed uh, devices. So that it will uh, even when there is harmonics this uh, RCBO can detect it. You can see from the symbol here if you take a RCBO you see the symbol here this shows that it belongs to type A. A sinusoidal current and uh, pulsating DC current is shown here. So, this belongs to type A or CBO. Next, we will see about the test button in RCBO. So, this test button mentioned T here, it is used to check whether this RCBO is working or not. So, once you press that artificially an earth fault will be created and this will trip. If it does not trip, it is the time to replace the RCBO. If you see the limitations of RCBO, it is costlier compared to this combination RCCB and MCB, it will be costlier. But there is an advantage that uh, it occupies less space and it provides some more efficient protection compared to that combination. And moreover, this RCBO can be directly installed in the circuits which need protection. So, if you put it in the main circuit, whenever there is a fault, all the devices uh, have to be turned off. Whereas, when you put it in a particular device, uh, for example, if you put it in a washing machine, when there is a earth fault in washing machine, only that part will be tripped. So, the points to remember here are RCBO can provide overcurrent protection and short circuit protection, protection against earth leakage fault and protection against electrical shock. There are different types are available AC, A, B, F, and their advantage is that they occupy uh, less space and provide more efficient operation whereas uh, it is costlier compared to RCCB. If you like the material, please do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.